Choosing the right lens tint for either your glasses or your sunglasses is a really crucial decision. And not just because of how it makes your eyewear look, but also because it affects how you see the world. So in this video, we're going to be comparing not just the three main lens colors, which are gray, brown, and green, but also a few more specialized lens colors to see if we can really tell the difference. But to do so, we're going to need a colored environment. And this is just a bit white. This is a bit better, a little bit more colorful. So uh, we've got our setup here, as you can see, including the cute little doggy Chester. Say hi, Chester. This is our setup. We're gonna be filming this shot just over here. And we're gonna see how each of these lenses affects this scene. So I'm going to start with the most basic lens, which is a gray. So what the gray is gonna do is it's just gonna darken that scene. And the camera will take a moment to adjust, as you can see. But a gray lens is gonna give you very accurate color perception while just dimming your view. And this is a polarized lens, so it's gonna reduce glare as well. Polarized lenses are excellent for that. And that might make a little bit of an improvement to contrast, but it's basically the same image, just darker. So with a brown lens, it's gonna give a warmer, richer view. So it's still darker, but you'll see that it amplifies the red. You see that? The red is brighter, the greens are also brighter. If there was blue in this scene, the blue would be dimmed a little bit, that's what brown does. But a lot of people prefer brown. I personally really love brown. It's a lovely lens to look through. It gives more contrast, more clarity, and doesn't dim the view as much as a gray lens does. And then finally you've got green, or more technically G15 as it's known. This was invented for military aircraft pilots because it gives improved contrast such as you would get from a brown lens, but with more accurate color perception that you would get from a gray lens. Now the result is not as pleasant, I don't think, but it is more true to life and a lot of people prefer it for that reason. So I would always recommend a green lens over a gray lens personally. Now let's get a little bit more exciting with some more unique lens colors. So these are adaptive sun lenses and adaptive sun lenses are perfect because they vary in the level of tint based on the brightness of the situation. So this is a blue lens, a blue adaptive sun lens and you'll see that that does put a blue cast over things. When you take it off, everything seems a bit more yellow. And I love blue lenses as a more relaxing, calming lens. They have that effect of just kind of toning everything down but still keeping it bright, colorful, they do add a blue element to the scene, obviously. That's what a blue tint is gonna do, and it's more noticeable than the gray or the green. But yeah, it's just very calming, I find, very restful. Now, you'll have seen me, if you follow this channel, in recent videos, wearing the Sweet Violet lens, which is definitely one of the best lenses I have ever used. I absolutely love it. And this is the effect that you get with the Sweet Violet. It's quite similar to the blue, in that, again, it's just toning everything down and making a very calming effect, but much less colour distortion than we got with the blue. It's a much more realistic image, and that's why I find myself adapting to the purple very quickly, but still getting that relaxing, calming effect. I really like that Sweet Violet lens. And finally, this is the Pro Golf lens that we developed in partnership with Zeiss. This is designed to give you the best vision on the golf course, but it's also fantastic for cycling as well. We've uh, had a lot of cyclists wearing this lens and absolutely loving it. And you'll see with this lens, it really improves the contrast and the sharpness of the image, especially the color perception between the green and the red. But it doesn't affect the overall brightness of the view at all. It, it, and that's what makes these really versatile and super usable in all different weather conditions. But the mirror coating is still going to protect you from the harsh glare of the sun. So that was the idea with this lens. It was to design something for golfers that they can wear all year round, regardless of the weather conditions. And we'll just improve the clarity a little bit, but still give them that more comfortable vision from the reduced brightness of the sun. Okay, back to the studio. Okay, I hope you found this video concept interesting. It's something that's a bit different than anything we've done on the channel before. Not just comparing the style of glasses and the performance and me kind of explaining how things work, but you having the opportunity to see it for yourself. If you have found it helpful, give us a like. If you've not found it helpful, hit the dislike button twice. And if you've got any questions about lens tints, anything to do with lens tints, leave them in the comment section below. But if you can only do one thing today, 
please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.